Nelson Howe, Professor of Philosophy, New York. I lived in Bangkok for three years. This is the story of my first time in Bangkok. Bangkok, first time. Before I came to Thailand, I thought Tom Yum Gong was the main dish, just like fast food in America. But actually, Thai do not eat it frequently. How am I supposed to know? When somebody talks about Thai food, it's always like Tom Yum Gong this, Tom Yum Gong that, Tom Yum Gong my ass. Because of that, I understood that Thai people generally eat this soup like Russians drink vodka. But living in Thailand led me to know the culture of eating here. I would say the real national dish of Thailand is Kapawa Musub. I can write it on the list of the most delicious food in the world. Thai food is a combination, a symphony of taste. Sour, sweet, salty, spicy, roi sat sat. But what I admire more than food is where to get it. I have to tell you this, street foods in Thailand are really cheap and delicious. In America, you are limited to eat only what's in the menu. You cannot change or adjust anything at all. Thailand lets your imagination free. No frame, no rule, no menu. You can eat whatever you like. Ordering Thai food is the best example of customized service. Hey. It's so freestyle that even 50 cent cannot improvise like this. Doing plain food, then flip the pan and making sophisticated Italian food. That chef is just incredible. I saw that colorful way of ordering food here, plus the magnificent ability of the Thai chef. So I gave it a try. Yeah. Uh, the carbonara pizza, please, with a uh, crispy crust, <coughs> extra cheese, no pepper, and no anchovy. Immanuel Kant once said, never mess up with the person who is carrying a huge hot frying pan. So I decided to go easy with a simple dish. Omelette. Okay, an omelette please. Okay, Ordering Thai food is so complicated. After I tried a lot of versions of cook to order foods, I've learned how creative Thai people are able to order foods for their meals. To get only one dish could be very detailed. So I practiced very damn hard to order Thai noodles. I stayed right before the noodle cart and said confidently, Sang Lek Hang Kao. I could see the waiter shocked with my pro skill. So I went a little further. More meatballs, no vegetable, no bean sprouts, and a Coca-Cola. Let Kiao Hang Chin Me Pak I can't believe his nervous system responded and functioned automatically after receiving the order. I wonder if there was any supercomputer chip implanted in his brain. His muscle movements transcended the limitations of the human body. But finally, there was a mistake. Finally found his Achilles heel. I think I should give him a lesson by ripping him off. <laughs> a free dish. I, I told you, no fucking bean sprouts.
there was a Thai saying, the more the restaurant was down to earth, the more delicious the food can be. I just saw the scenery of wet street, smell, unsanitary scent in the air. All of the things that challenge the World Health Organization standard, I can tell right away, this restaurant is holy grail of Tom Yong Kong. I went straight into the restaurant, and I knew it. Coming to Thailand this time would be worth everything with this legendary Tom Yong Kong. I ordered loudly and confidently, hey, one Tom Yong Kong right here. Kita Sat. Fuck. Not fuck, fuck. Fuck. Say, say again. Fuck. 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 Go get a chocolate. Let me check. Go get a twally song. Fuck. Twally song. Fuck. 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 Twally song fuck. No, not fuck, fuck. Go get Twally song fuck. Mantuk met. Go get Twally song fuck. Mantuk met. Thailand has the richest smile in the world. Thai smiles are very beautiful, and most importantly, Thai smiles are not just ordinary smiles at all. I've traveled around the globe, and I could see only Thai people can amplify the concealed potential of a smile to its maximum efficiency. A smile can be used as an apology. A smile can be used for asking for sympathy. I have found out that in Thailand there is an occupation that takes full advantage of a smile. 